Hey folks, every time I go anywhere with the trailer, um, when I get wherever I'm going, this is pulled way out. Everything's falling off it. It's all over the floor and everything. And the stuff is, anything on top is down behind the mattress and everything. And um, I'm going to try to fix that with a silly little attempt at something. I'm going to put a, a handle up here on the wall. I have a piece of board here that came with the came with the trailer. There used to be a there used to be a shelf back in the in the back where the cushions for the couch would go, but when I changed it to a bed, I took that shelf off. So I bought just some drawer pull handles. And I'm going to put one on the back and one underneath down under here onto the wall and then I'm going to put a strap between them for traveling so when it's traveling I'll just pull the strap tight and see if that holds it I don't think the one on the bottom is going to hold very long because it's a crummy piece of wood I think I'll probably have to put a bolt in but I'm going to try it and see how it how it holds the bed. If it holds it for one or two trips, then I'll make it a little more sturdy. You'll have to watch another video to see how it comes out in the end. I also think I may need to do two of them. We'll see how much it racks in the um, position, but I'm going to do that now and uh, see how that works out. <sighs> so I drilled a pilot hole and I'm changing the screws. These are these are the two screws. This this is the and this silver one is the bigger screw. So I'm putting a full size wood screw in here, and it, it's going to look ugly because it's silver. <laughs> but maybe I'll paint it. Magnetic chuck works good. All right. All right. Got the first screw in. Now we bore all the other pilot screws. That's a good strong handle there. It's not going anywhere. Now we'll put one on the underside. Now the other one's got to go right about here. Possibly an error. I'm not too worried about if they line up perfectly. If you've seen me do work before, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in measure once, cut twice. And that being there won't bother anything I don't think. All the noise is the screwdriver has a clutch on it. All 
right. That's not going to go anywhere or hurt anything. So I'll put the bed back down with the wand. This is a really old strap that I've had for a thousand years. And I don't apparently throw a lot of stuff away. But I can put that through that loop. And then through this loop. This, this handle. And being slightly OCD, you have to flatten the, the, the strip out. Here, come over here where you can see this better. This is a ratchet strap, so, and of course the strap's way long. This is for tying down a canoe. But you uh, need this dirty, nasty thing into this. And I'm not really going to tighten it down, but now I know that it's there, and the bed can't really come out. So we'll see how that works. Maybe that'll keep this. Maybe that'll keep this from from bouncing out. And if I put stuff under it, like the pillows or something like that, it'll keep it from uh, from falling all over the ground. Because usually my pillows, my blankets, my sleeping bag, whatever I have is all over the floor and when we go from one place to another it's a lot of stuff that's all over the floor. So that's a that's a single hint for today. We'll see if that works. Check back with me in three videos. We're going to Vermont in two days. What are you doing? I'm working on the trailer. I'm fixing things. No, don't don't come in. Come on out. Hey Caesar. How are you doing? Okay, get out of here. Another little project that I've wanted to do for a long time was to install USB ports and and 12 volt auto cigarette lighter type ports. I'm going to put that right there just fine and then I'll have power, extra power to plug in some of my 12 volt charging things. I have a 12 volt charger for my laptop, for my drone, for my batteries for the cameras. So. I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not going to do it right. Because <laughs> to do it right would mean to get a, a hole saw like this that was the right size and use that. But I don't have one. And I'm not going to buy one. Because I used to buy tools every time I needed them, thinking that that way I'll always have tools when I need them. But you know what? I never used the tools again. And I found out that most of the time I just had a lot of tools I'm never going to use and they rust. So I'm going to use this hole saw which is a little smaller than I need and then I'm going to use this rasp to bring the hole bigger. Um, so that'll be fun. <laughs> There's hole number one. Now, the thing to do is to mount the faceplate so that's centered. So I should do this with tape. I'm going to tape this so the hole's pretty centered and it's pretty level. Is that pretty level? <laughs> Since I'm standing on my head, it's hard to tell if it's level. Now, I'm going to put the screws into it. So 
there's probably only about two threads in that cheap board in the front, but it doesn't need much. So, now that's there. Now we change to the rasp. And I'll just use the rasp to make the hole bigger. There we go. There's one, now we do the other one. That all worked out a little better. It's a little more on one side than the other. it does. So they are in there and mounted. Now all I have to do is hook them up to electricity. Well, I have to put these on the back to hold them in place. Now it's time to hook it into the electrical system. These are the things down in here. They're right on the other side of this. You can't really see them with the camera, but they're right, right here. And what I did is I took an old extension cord, and this is really old, <laughs> that I wasn't using anymore and probably should have thrown away a long time ago, but it's a roughly a 14 gauge wire, and I think that's plenty. I'm gonna split it. And then I've got a, these are really nice. This is pretty old, as you can see. But this, um, I figure out what size of the wire is, and I put it in here and strip it. I'm going to drip it a little extra length. Twist it just a little. And just pull it. Well, maybe twist it a little more and pull it. And it strips the wire without cutting any of the strands. Well, cut all sides and pull it through. That's a perfect strip. Now twist those up so they're nice and tight. But then the kit comes with these little slide-on wire ends, so they go right in there. And then again, a crimper section right there. So I put it in on the 14, 16, and crimp that wire in there. A lot of strength. And that wire is in there, connected good. Now we do the other one. Crimp. And check the make sure the wire won't come out. Now these are these cheap slide-on things, and I have learned over the years that these do not slide on very easy. So what I do is I take a very sharp knife and I go inside the little feet that are in here. And I just bend them just a little tiny bit. Just so they're a little. And then those go down on and they'll plug onto the end of the socket. Ugh, that goes on nice and tight. Alright, I got wired up. The battery on the thing died, so um, there's actually lights on these. On this one, there's lights. So I can tell that one's working. <sighs> it's always good to have an audience when you're working on these things. We're sitting in the driveway, but this is that's their part of the trailer, so they had to come in. I hope that wasn't too complicated or too scary in what I did. Um, Cut a few corners using old wire and uh, undersized wire most likely, but I think it'll be all right, especially for the USB. Um, so, ask me questions if you have comments or, or issues. <laughs> I'm glad to hear your your uh, critique on how I did that. But it's nice I've got it now. Um, it's been a while since I had enough. Uh, been a while since I had enough 
power inside the trailer for everything that takes power. So hopefully that won't hurt anything. All right, I'll have uh, I'll have a complete review in probably two or three videos or two or three camping trips. How's that? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the playlists. They're all pretty good. Um, I'm now putting up these stupid boxes of things, end caps and stuff, because YouTube says you should. I don't know. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Anyways, see you on the road. Meet me at an A-liner rally. There's a lot of them coming up. Have a good summer. Bye-bye.